Hi, I'm Lou Scharf and I'm a volunteer at the Crayer Preserve and Nature Center here in Auburn. It is a part of the School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences uh, at Auburn University. I'm sitting in the butterfly garden of the preserve and just enjoying the quiet time of relaxation and the beauty of the insects, particularly the butterflies that gather here this time of year. We host and grow a number of plant species that serve as hosts for specific butterflies. Uh, for example, uh, we grow the pawpaw bush or tree, which serves as a host plant for the zebra swallowtail. Similarly, uh, we grow a plant that serves as the host species for the pipevine swallowtail. And uh, you might be interested to know that we also serve as a way station for the monarch butterfly, which is in uh, dire need of uh, protection to ensure a more secure future for that butterfly. At any rate, uh, this is such a beautiful place. I've been here about 30 minutes and I'd like to lead you through just a few uh, of the kinds of um, scenes and observations that you would make uh, if you came out here uh, to enjoy this environment. Eastern tiger swallowtails are among Alabama's most common and familiar butterflies. In fact, they're Alabama's um, official state butterfly. They fly throughout the state and are on the wing in the spring, summer, and fall. Favorite nectar plants of the tiger swallowtail include butterfly bushes, honeysuckle, milkweeds, and joe pie weeds. We have all of these plant species available uh, in the butterfly garden. Here uh, we see the tiger swallowtail proboscis uh, gathering nectar, um, in this case out of the joe pie weed. Scientists are continually um, learning more about the mechanics of a butterfly's proboscis. Uh, initially thought to work only as a suction type of device, it is now known to work more like a straw that is lined on the inside with paper towel. Liquid works its way up the proboscis on the inside of it. And here is the um, uh, proboscis uh, in slow motion. The host plants of the silver spotted skipper are the leaves of herbs, vines, shrubs, and trees in the pea family. Uh, these are all um, found in our butterfly garden. You can also spot other types of flying insects in the butterfly garden, um, such as dragonflies. The host plant for the Gulf fritillary is the passion vine, which is abundant uh, in the Crayer Preserve. By late summer, um, the Gulf fritillaries are common butterflies in virtually every county of the state. And when the days uh, shorten in the fall, massive flights occur as the northern butterflies travel through Alabama um, down to the Gulf Coast and southward on into Florida. You can also see four-legged creatures in the butterfly garden and surrounding areas um, such as lizards. This is the eastern fence lizard. We are very proud to have a good population of honeybees in the garden due to our nearby apiary project. The colony collapse disorder has taken a huge toll on this insect. And here's something that might surprise you. Uh, one out of every three mouthfuls of food in the American diet is in some way a product of honeybee pollination, from fruits to nuts to coffee and beans. The host plant for the pipe vine swallowtail is the Dutchman's pipe, which the preserve grows to attract these beautiful butterflies. 
Pipevine swallowtail caterpillars obtain toxic chemicals from their host plants and they retain these as adult butterflies. The chemicals are distasteful to birds which learn to avoid the black and orange caterpillars as well as the large black and blue and orange spotted butterflies. The host and nectar plants um, verified in Alabama for the spice bush swallowtail are smooth northern spice bush, sassafras, red bay, and swamp day, all available in the preserve and surrounding areas. I'm actually extending my visit uh, today because I'm seeing more butterflies than I had expected. So I uh, trust you'll bear with me. Red spotted purples are common and beautiful butterflies that sip from overly ripe fruit and decaying matter. Their host plants in Alabama are willows, black cherry, and common deerberry, all present in the preserve. Pearl crescents are found wherever asters flourish, such as the preserved butterfly garden. In Alabama, pearl crescents are so common that they are the yardsticks by which many other butterflies are measured in terms of frequency. Painted ladies are extremely adaptable, living throughout the continental United States as well as every continent except Antarctica. Their habitats are varied and their list of potential host plants is long. The zigzagging red band patterns of the red banded hair streaks are striking and help to identify this Alabama butterfly. They are habitat generalists and occur widely throughout Alabama. In Alabama, sumacs and oaks have been verified as host species. Well, this um, concludes uh, our visit and, and little tour of the uh, Crayer uh, Butterfly Garden. So I invite you to uh, take a little time this summer. Come out and enjoy our butterfly garden as well as the many other activities and uh, venues that are available uh, here at the Crayer Preserve. Uh, thank you and uh, I hope you enjoy the, the quick brief visit of this uh, this garden.